Why does it feel like so many Asian Americans are leaning into the ABG, Asian baby girl, and the Asian baby boy, ABB, aka Kevin Wynn look, so much right now? We are going to try to answer this question right now. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, every time this topic comes up, I just know that it gets a lot of views. And there's a lot of magnetism surrounding the Jennifer Tran, Kevin Wynn, ABG, ABB discussion. David, uh, you know, I just got my hair cut. I got a fade on the sides, a little comb over with the pomp. David, you got a red flannel on and uh, some jade. I don't know, dude. There's a little Kevin Wynn in us right now. Yeah, 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 man. I can't deny it. Um, <laughs> We had to talk about this Reddit post. It was called, uh, Do Asian Americans Become ABGs and ABBs to Fit into the Crowd? This guy talks about how he was in a frat because his cousin wanted him to join, but he wasn't really into it. And he noticed that uh, even some of the quiet, nerdy people who, did, who didn't seem like they fit in with that look became ABGs or ABBs by their second year in the Asian sorority or the Asian fraternities. So then they would start going to raves, they would party off, and they would just be out doing Kevin Wynn activity in general. And this guy said, would you guys say that most Asian Americans try to be ABGs and ABBs just to like fit in these days? Because I knew people who I did not think were gonna chase that archetype, and they ended up deep in that lane What's going on? All right, guys, we're going to try to answer this question. We got the comment section. I have my own reasons on why I think the Kevin Wynn look is so big. Please hit that like button and check out other episodes of the Hop Hop Boys. But before that, uh, you know what's one thing that ABGs, ABBs will like or even preppy ones? We got Smala Sauce, guys. It's a finishing oil, chili oil. Check it out, smalasauce.com. Also, check out the Instagram because we have a lot of cool content coming out there. Um, of course, first off, Andrew, we have to talk about, obviously, the ABG thing. It came from the 90s. The ABB Kevin Wynn thing, I've seen that, like, pop up in the past, like, five years. It's more of a recent thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, we, we've, like, gone over the history in previous videos. We're just more talking about the phenomenon now, about how it seems like there's all these different archetypes, right? You you can sit at so many different lunch tables in high school. You know, you fit in with the jocks, you fit in with the nerds. But why does it seem like every year the amount of young Asians that chase the ABG or ABB aesthetic seemingly increases? It's a pie slice that is growing year after year in terms of uh, just like usage. Yeah, and I, I have my quick reasons I'm going to tell you right now why I think so many young Asian dudes are kind of leaning into the Kevin Wynn look. First of all, I think there's different versions of a Kevin Wynn look. I think there's a Filipino Kevin Wynn look. I think there's a more like Southern Chinese, Cantonese Kevin Wynn look. A little hype beastie, yeah, right? beast I think the Filipino one is very NBA, streetwear centric. I think there is a Korean version a little the bit. Kevin Kim, not yeah, the Kevin Wynn. Yeah, there's different Win. variations, but we all know they kind of revolve around, you know, a similar look and a similar goal. A similar goal is important. But let me talk about why I think so many young guys even ones that are going to the Ivy Leagues now are now taking on a Kevin Wynn look. Whether that's the comb over with the fade or the perm on hair, and then you got the flannel. Or the, the curtain bangs. One, one, they don't have another style that they feel very dear and dedicated to. So as in, if you're like a very fashionable person and you want to only wear raw Japanese denim, or you're a guy who's only into preppy clothes, you're a Hamptons boat shoes type Asian Vineyard guy. Vines. Golfs, yeah, from that type of family. You're saying if you're 10 out of 10 dedicated to one of those yeah. archetypes, you're not going to become a Kevin or, Wynn. Or you're an art school Asian guy who likes to wear the flared out pants and like the black baggy, I don't know, whatever. the, the Just the, like Steve Lacey or something. Whatever, right? yes. Or Keshi. Like, that's a different look, right? Where I'm saying that if you're not dedicated to one of those styles and you have no current style, you're just going to go into what works. Point number two, it works. I think that the Kevin Wynn look, it's not a bad look. It may be typical and basic, and you can criticize it for that, but it works as in you look good, you're, you're clean shaven, your hair's tall, so your head is elongated, your clothes fit, it looks masculine. Is this sort of like getting a brand new 2023 Civic or Accord or Tesla Model 3? You can't really go wrong. Those are the basic choices. Yeah, those are the highest selling cars in segment for a reason yeah right? they're not niche they're not like mind-blowing they're not phenomenal but those are what works right so it what works also it's affordable i think a lot of kevin wins come from the middle class the kevin win style is not hyper expensive and it's mm. not hard to achieve right just get a black t-shirt yeah. get a little gold chain and get some I, tats possibly when we're talking about kevin win activities raving partying um, I think a lot of Kevin Wins still do their homework and study in school, by the way. But I think that it's basically the only group, the largest segment of Asian Americans, Asian Americans 
that seem like they're having fun together is the ABGs and the ABBs, and people want to be part of it. That's why people join fraternities. Not all fraternities are whack, but there are some fraternities that are more cringe than others. But let's be honest, you join an Asian fraternity or an Asian sorority, whether it's a business sorority or business frat, because you want to be part of a crowd that has a social life. And that that is out like doing social things yeah, and that social feels, activities together in an organized, structured fashion. It's right? attractive. It's a tra Listen, there is the Comic-Con lane and I understand that. And there's a part of me that, you know, I, I like some geek stuff, but if you made me say Kevin wins, they play sports, they, you know, hang and out and with some girls. Some of them still play Valorant too. Yeah, like they still, and they still game a little bit, you know? So I'm saying, I guess I can see why it's appealing. And I agree with you because like being an ABG or an ABB, it sort of indicates that you're also potentially like above average on the charted spectrum of like Asian attractiveness. And uh, also, it's very difficult to live like that Lily Hu and her boyfriend, like rich golfer, like old money lifestyle, mm -hmm. you know, like, oh, like, oh, yeah, we're the Asians from prep school. Like, that's just not like a lifestyle or a tribe that has a lot of universal accessibility. Dude, you know how many Asians tell me they like and watch F1 racing shows, but how many Asians can actually even touch that world? Yeah. That's not an Asian world. Yeah, no, that's, that's a good point. Um, Andrew, uh, how much do you think... That you know how like the the ABG look kind of came from the chola uh, stereotype yeah. from SoCal right sure. uh, back in the day, but I don't really see the ABB thing being driven by cholos. Do you know what I'm saying? Like if it went in the '90s, it was kind of driven by this like gang more like you know I got weapons, whether it's whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? I've got yeah, I'm connected yeah. in the streets from the '90s thing. I don't see Kevin wins being fully, I'm not saying there's no correlation because definitely some of them is doing some things. You know what I mean? But I'm just saying like, it's not driven by the, the Cholo image. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do think there is some LA, Southern California influence in the Kevin win. I think that's where Kevin win originally comes from. This image is probably OC. OC. For sure. Yeah, OC. it's probably LA OC, right? So I think there's some of that, but you're right. It's not based off of the the shaved head cholo. I think that's the general image that people see as a cholo is like the high socks, the Cortez, the jean shorts, the, well, the and, and I guess in modern day, the the Edgar is the is the modern yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. Um, Edgar and Kevin Wynn, do they have some crossover? Uh, slightly, but I, I, I really more. You're right. I think it's. I think the chola and the ABG is much more connected because I think the chola look is considered uh, sexier. In a, in a female lane than the than the cholo is in the male that lane. Makes sense, makes sense. Anyway, let's get in the comments section, guys. Like we said, there's no real right or wrong answer when you're discussing something as like real, but at the same time trivial as like usage rates of ABG and ABB archetypes in the Asian American community youth segment demographic. Somebody says, yes, more specifically, People do adopt the ABG or ABB archetype to fit into the cool crowd. The importance of social status does not end in high school. It follows you to their grave. Somebody said, it's also how a lot of Asians actually glow up. They sort of like were these nerdy high school achievers, maybe fitting into the model minority stereotype, and then they join a frat or sorority or an ASU thing and then adopt the ABG, ABB look. Here's the thing, guys. The Kevin Wynn look, the connotation that comes along with it, Okay, you can say, oh, Kevin Wins are like dumb or they're like toxic, but really the the actually at the core of it, it's a masculine look. It is heteronormative. It's somewhat ethnic and urban. You know what I mean? So like that's the connotation that a lot of Asian guys feel like they lack. Right. A lot of nerdy Asian guys, they they for what I'm not saying they are or are not masculine, but that how they're perceived, we all know this, is that we're perceived to be less masculine than other people. Yeah, we're sometimes so, Asian men are honestly not treated like men. Yeah, yeah, so what do we do? You put on more masculine clothing, and to be honest, you don't hear a lot of people wanting to mess with Kevin Wynn. You don't want to F with a Kevin a group of Kevin Wins. I'm not right. saying that they are great fighters. I'm just saying right, right. you we're don't want to mess with them. Right, right. right. They, they, people don't tend to pick on them. Yes, people don't pick on Kevin Wins as much. Yeah, okay? and like That's you said, I mean, I would say, like you said, it's an ethnic look. Drake sometimes dresses like a Kevin Win with just like the black tee and the of. chain. A lot of people at hookah spots dress like Kevin Wins. A lot of Middle Eastern guys too. Um, well, they got the Drake influence. Yeah. Um, somebody says, uh, you know, I see a lot of people do the Kevin Wynn, but I also see a lot of Asian American guys with the curtain bangs right now, like Asian Asian guys. So maybe the Kevin Wynn is mixing with a K-pop look in 2023. It's I would a Kevin K-pop. It's a Kevin K-pop look. The Kevin Kim. That's yeah. the Kevin Kim. The K-pop win look. Yes, you're talking about the Keshi 
luxury basics like yeah, this Tim no, Dusan. Yeah, and I think like, you can mix and match hairstyles. Main typical Kevin Wynn hairstyles I would go in popularity is the, sh- uh, the fade with the comb over, kind of what I have, to be honest, and then the perm. And then the curtain bangs now. Right. You did get your haircut at 12 Pell, which is kind of a... I did get people, my haircut at 12 Pell. Shout out to 12 Pell. Kind it of a Kevin Wynn spot. For stylish Kevin Wins. But yes. Yes. Well, it's expensive. I get it. Um, I get it. Somebody guys. said it's super trendy right now, but I only see it in bigger met- metropolitan areas. In suburbs or more rural cities, I don't see people adopt the Kevin Wynn look as much. Anything? I, I agree because it has to do with your proximity to um, an urban center, but particularly influences from SoCal. Okay, okay, yeah, I could see that. Like, you're not going to see a bunch of Asian guys in the Midwest adopt. I'm not saying that none would, but just a lower percentage. I think more and more are. Watch out. Um, Somebody was saying, I think it's quite the opposite. If you go to the suburbs, the whitewashed Asians are tend to look pretty plain. And then this guy said Priscilla Chan, which is Mark Zuckerberg's wife. I can't believe he brought her into this. And then uh, saying that, yeah, like, so it's different and depends on, like, family to family, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, listen. We come from a pretty bad academic family. Uh, It's not fully organic for people whose, like, parents have, like, graduate school degrees and uh, they were like model minority brain workers did the heart seller act to produce abb abg kids but i'm saying that that more kids are adopting it from that background to have a life yeah because it's a cool look yeah or it's a masculine look it, that look helps them achieve what image they want to portray yep this guy said it just sounds like an asian american flavor of the normal human thing where people want to get somewhere in life such as having a better social life a better dating life access to certain social opportunities and they're grafting on aspects of a character that has a broad appeal which is the easiest thing to find and run with it is a identity archetype fashion starter pack it can be useful that's why people do it you'll likely look more attractive and develop a fully personality if you're open-minded toward this stuff where it goes wrong is if you're not constantly actively thinking about the parts of it you like and what parts you discard and how you're going to make it your own, then you're going to run the risk of becoming a caricature, basically like a clone. Yeah. This guy was saying basically what we were saying. Yes, it is useful. Yes, looking like an ABG or ABB or being influenced by these fashion archetypes will get you something in life, but you don't want to end up looking so ridiculous. Yeah, but I and I think that um, there's archetypes in every circle, like the the rapper archetype there's like people that you meet and you're like, man, they're like a stereotypical rapper or like the artsy kid. And you're like, dude, this is a stereotypical Such an artsy kid, right? art school kid, you know? So I think there are stereotypes of every type of style. And I think every style likes to think that they're cooler than the next one or that they're high and mighty or that they uh, are more thoughtful, but there can be drones in those too. Right. Um, this guy said, for me, I'm not into that look. I have a day job I'm dedicated to. I care about my appearances, but I have basic ass hobbies like hiking hot pot and reading. This actually still gets me respect in my world. So I don't care about ABGs or ABBs, nor am I part of that circle. Mm. What do you think of that? Um, Do you think ultimately everybody has to be in that archetype to have fun? No, right? No, no, no. Like this guy probably is more like in the computer programmer lane, but ultimately, yeah. I mean, if he's like tall, good looking, whatever, he's just going to get the girls who who more like people who travel and go hiking. Right, right, that, right. That's like a different lane, though. It's true that you won't have access to the ABG influence pool, though. Uh. Would you agree with that? Like, he's shutting himself off from that particular large segment of the Asian American population socially. Yeah. Um, somebody said young people are always looking to fit in with the popular crowd, whether you're white, black, Asian, or Latino. And uh, yeah, everybody does it. This is just the Asian version of it. So basically he's saying that like every people, uh, every race like sort of does this within their own community, but the ABG, ABB, it just is the one that won out in the Asian community. Yeah. I mean, do you, have you seen these videos of these uh, white frat guys uh, rushing frats in like the South? Like they all look like clones. Oh, the white guys, spe- particularly the Southern yeah, frat boys are like yeah, super. The Southern, right? They all have to wear polos. They're all tucked into their shorts. They all, shoes, they, right? they all like white kids. Like, and they're they all, all his name is like Chet or like, yeah, whatever. Like, I mean, listen, I think that part of social media, it's good and bad because it exposes you to different niches potentially, but it also is a unifying culture in that once someone sees a style that fits, everybody adopts that because it just works. Now, are people more clones of each other than they've ever been? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. 
Yeah, I see more people with like more distinct styles because I remember for a while Old Navy and Gap used to be really dominant and that's like the plainest style you could possibly wear is like Gap clothing. Um, somebody said, you really only have three choices as an Asian guy in college. Go the ABB route or ABB adjacent route. Hit the gym five times a week while rocking a crew cut or curtained hairstyle. This route will unlock 50% of Asian chicks in America that exclusively date Asian guys. Hot ABGs and hot other types of women await you. Number two, join a white frat bro crowd and distance yourself from the Asian community. Asian guys who I see don't hang out with other Asians usually end up dating a mediocre looking white girl or Asian girl. Point number three, pick the PC gamer route. This is actually an enormous amount of Asian guys like this. Play Valorant every night, be out of shape, be still a virgin at 20 something. For every Asian guy that is slaying right now, there are probably at least four other Asian guys that fit into this archetype. Oh. Tough choice. And the other people were saying, yo, this guy got it spot on. Do you agree with this? Does it seem like these are the three choices once somebody enters like a, you know, like a large D1 college? I think he forgot about the international school crowd, but yes, for Americanized Asian guys, I think it's more or less true. But I think there's obviously the FOB crowd. Yeah, no, uh, I noticed that some Asian American guys, Andrew, they almost become dressed like a rich international student that's very like worldly traveled and has a lot of stamps in their passport. And then they date mostly international chicks for the rest of their life. So they almost like I know adopt guys who did that. That, that like yeah. world traveler thing. I mean, uh, Everybody was just, you know, basically saying this is just some way to have social status in the Asian American community. What do you think? Do you think it's fair, unfair, or it is what it is? Because it's true that some Asian guys, they want access to like hot ABG looking girls, right? But they don't want to fit into the ABB lane. But if you don't, and let's say you, for example, you're wearing all this raw denim and you're looking like you listen to that stomp clamp, you know, like all the vintage leathers and stuff. It's true that ABG girls are not going to like that. Uh, no, that's a different style. And I think at the end of the day, a lot of Asian dudes do not have a style that they are married to. Some guys are. Some guys are like, nah, man, this is what I'm into, man. I only want this type of clothing. I go to this vintage shop. I hunt here on on my on the weekend and... Dude, that's, I go to antique shops. That's a certain lifestyle. I got friends in New York who act like that, right? Who they want the... Right, they, they, want they, the work, they work in film. They want the film cameras. You know, they want the role and then they want to develop their own film. And so that's the, like... They, a, essentially, uh, the hipster hipster That's lane. a different lifestyle and you're not going to attract ABGs that way. So if you want ABGs, you have to become some version, I'm not saying cookie cutter, but some version of something that appeals to them. And that's just what it is. And I think... It's not that just all guys want to get ABGs, but they just know that the Kevin Wynn style works for a mass amount of different types of women. And that's how you get the quote-unquote hot Asian girls who actually like Asian guys back. Yeah. For the most part, right? Yeah. Like I mean, some Asian dudes are deep in the streetwear lane. They work at sneaker shops. They have to be decked out in every street. They got no... Uh, cactus plant this oh this person broke off from supreme and started right. this brand and that's right right, right and i'm just saying that's a different subculture that's a different world that has its benefits too but i'm just saying you have to understand that like that's not typical that is not the mass market right 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 so like we said guys here's a couple looks that i see that are popular amongst the youth the kevin win but like you said you can have the kevin lamb the kevin lynn the kevin kim you know like multi-racial variations maybe this got hype beast sprinkled on it this got k-pop sprinkled on it this has a little bit more like taiwanese tech bro sprinkled on it you know ceo vc type uh the keshi sad boy artsy boy cigarette boy would you say this one's trendy right now? You know, yeah. a little bit lo-fi. Uh -huh. um, we got the K-pop F-Boy, which uh -huh. is a little bit like Jay Park mixing it with some uh, BTS. Yeah. Or I'd, I'd throw in a tech guy, all birds. Kevin wins. don't wear all birds. No mm. shoes. That's the that's just the Kevin Seh tech Kevin, founder. Yeah. Um, the racially ambiguous guy, I tend to think that that really works well for Filipinos because, you know, sometimes look Latino. Um international student which we said is like the rich boy look you know gq you know what i mean more like uh archive fashion if you really want to yeah. get into thousand dollar balenciaga shoes and then uh yeah there's other archetypes too you know asian hooper guy but i noticed the reason why and we have a lot of friends that are asian hoopers andrew uh, the asian hooper look you can get a girlfriend but that's not the look of a player you know what i mean because you're more focused on hooping yeah and, and tracking your stats and stuff
Um, but ultimately, guys, yeah, let us know why you guys think in the comments section below that, you know, people are posing this question. Why does it seem like every year a disproportionately large amount of Asian Americans choose the ABG or ABB lane? What are their motivations? Could there be another archetype that emerges as, you know, working for people? Maybe it just takes a celebrity to break open the game. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. We encourage the debate. Until next time, we'd hop out, boys. We out. Peace. Peace.